Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV, where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today's question was sent in from Jonah from Brooklyn, who asked about kosher wine. Very general question. Kosher wine. I guess, what is it? Um, kosher wine uh, obviously has the um, kind of reputation of mostly tasting something like this Manischewitz, which is sweet and cloying and a screw cap and not very good. Um, this is a big part of Jewish American tradition and uh, even the most uh, uh, you know, high-flying Jewish wine connoisseur will still pour this at Passover. However, there are, there are certainly some good kosher wines out there made in uh, Israel, in the United States, Spain, France, Italy, around the world, fine kosher wines are being made. Uh, essentially, there are, are two types of kosher wine. Uh, there is uh, a kashrut uh, kosher wines, which essentially means that throughout the process of making the wine, from planting, pruning, picking, right through bottling, a Sabbath observant Jew has participated in the in the process, and if uh, some uh, shmagegi gets in there who's not Sabbath oriented, it supposedly disqualifies the wine from being kosher. Uh, some people go as far as the person who pours the wine. If that person is not Sabbath oriented, uh, the the wine is no longer kosher. The the other type of kosher <coughs> wine is called excuse me for my pronunciation, Mefushel. Mefushel. Mefushel wine is boiled wine, or cooked, literally, means. And uh, it was boiled to essentially clean it um, and to protect the wine from any type of uh, molds or spores or any uh, kind of uh, dangerous byproducts and it was considered boiling it made it uh, more pure and also I've read that boiling also allows non-Sabbath oriented individuals from handling the wine. So um, fortunately uh, kosher winemaking has improved over the years um, more recently um, without promoting anybody specifically you can find good kosher wines from around the world. Um, I do think they have a tendency to be a little bit more expensive than non-kosher wines, and that's because of FDA packaging and packaging and regulations, and they're a little bit more costly to make. Uh, but in short, uh, kosher wines are, are, are good, uh, to very good, and thanks for your question, Jonah. And keep sending your questions into Tell Me Wine TV.